Hi, I'm EJ with High Power Systems. I'm here today with our uh, EHR system. Uh, this particular model is the 3060, which is 30 kVA output and 60 kilowatt storage. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to actually start, sync the batteries, and uh, turn on the controller so everything works properly. Uh, to begin with, on each battery, you have an individual on-off switch. So I will turn on each battery, and it should be a nice crisp uh, click telling you that you've actually pressed the button. We'll go to the other side. In this case with the 3060, we have 16 total batteries. So you need to turn on 16 or all 16 of the batteries. So now I'm on the other side of the unit. And I'm going to continue turning on the batteries. So now we're going to go to the other side of the unit. So the master battery is designated with a blue cord, whereas the others uh, our green communication cable. Um, what you'll do is you'll hit the SW button, it's red. So once you press it, it will. each battery is going to turn on. This process takes roughly two minutes to fully sync. Um, once the batteries sync, then your run button, which is next to your alarm button and the SW button will begin flashing slowly. At that point, then we'll move to the inverters. So now the batteries have synced and what we need to do is turn on each individual inverter, which you can see on there's an on off button. You'll turn it to on and we'll move to the other side. So now we're going to turn on the remaining two inverters. So we'll hit on and on. And at this point, now we can turn on the controller. So now we're gonna turn the on off key to on, which will boot up the high core controller. The first screen you'll see is a red screen. And underneath we have our IDs. They'll start out as XX and once they connect, they'll turn to okay. So after it's synced up, it'll turn to a white screen. And I want you to press the assistant button, which is located next to the home button. Here you have grid, genset, island. Um, after this point, it really depends application to application, but at least this gets you started. Um, if you have any questions about how to start the unit, there is a quick start guide on the uh, door. Also, you can contact our service department for further information on how to operate the EHR.